Welcome back everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how to create word clouds. For this example, we downloaded the word cloud package into an Anaconda package environment. For more install instructions, visit the Python package index and search for word cloud. For the imports, we use from word cloud, import word cloud, and stop words. From pathlib, import path. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Import image io. And import ipy widgets. To create a basic word cloud, we create a text stream. Then we use word cloud with the round brackets. Dot generate, and we pass in the text stream. To display the word cloud, we use plt.im show. Image show and we pass in the word cloud variable that we created here. And we use plt.axisoff to turn the axis off. And here we have a basic word cloud where the size of each word relates to the number of times that the word is in the text stream. Something that might be important to know is that by default, when you create the word clouds, certain words are not included and those are called stop words. And here's a list of the stop words. If you would like to include certain stop words, you can use a set comprehension that we have created here. And then when you create your word cloud, you can assign those stop words to the stop words argument. Here we have our text stream. Then we create our word cloud. And since there are certain words in the text string that would normally not be included, and we want to include them, we're going to use our set comprehension, and the words that would normally not be included that we want to include are how, are, and you. So we assign the set comprehension to the stop words argument. Then we use generate, and we pass in the text. We use plt.imshow and pass in the word cloud variable. And here we have our word cloud. If you would like to create a word cloud in the form of an image, you can do that as well. The first thing we did is we pulled in our text using path. And the text is from the Wikipedia Bear article. Then we put in our path to the text file, which is on our desktop. Here. Then we use dot read text, and then we use dot replace to get rid of any new lines. Next, we're going to read in the image we're going to use for the mask using image io dot im read. We put in the path to the image, which is right here. To create the word cloud, we use word cloud. And in this example, we've used the default color map. If you would like to put in another color map, you can do that as well. We set the size using width and height. And for the mask, we assign the image that we created here. Then we use dot generate, and we pass in the bare text that we created here. To display the word cloud, we use plt.figure. Here you can set your figure size. Then we use plt.imshow and pass in the word cloud. And we turn the axis off. If you would like to save the word cloud image to a file, then you can use the word cloud variable to file and put in the path. and we have saved the word cloud to our desktop, and here's what it looks like. If you would like to see the actual word counts, you can use wordcloud.processText and put in the text. And here we have displayed the word counts from largest to smallest. If you compare the word counts to the word cloud, the bigger the number, the bigger the text.
One thing to notice is that the word cloud combines the text bear and bears. Next, let's go over an example of how to create a word cloud using frequencies. To create the frequencies, we use a dictionary. And the word cloud we're going to create will show the popularity of programming languages. So we use a key value pair, where the key is the programming language and the value is the popularity of the language as a number. To create the word cloud, we use word cloud. Put in a color map. And then we use dot generate from frequencies, and we put in the frequencies that we created here. To display the word cloud, we use the same code we have in the previous examples. And finally, we have an example of how to create an interactive word cloud. And in this example, what we want to do is to see the popularity of programming languages over time going from 2002 to 2012 to 2022. So here we have created our frequency data. Then using IPy widgets, we create our dropdown widget. Then we create our function that will display the word cloud. And finally, we create the interaction between the widget and the function, where the function argument will change based on the dropdown. So let's look at the popularity of programming languages in 2002. And it looks like Java was the most popular at that time. How about 2012? Still Java. And let's look at 2022. And now we can see that it's Python. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.